Nina Turner went on MSNBC and she handled a got you question like a pro. You called voting for Joe Biden like eating a bowl of sugar honey iced tea, I'll say. But you know what I'm talking about. How will you work with this administration um, after being so vocally critical about them during the campaign? In that moment, Tiffany, you know, I was just thinking about the suffering of people. And so sometimes mm -hmm. I can, you know, I'm a hell raising humanitarian and, and sometimes I can, can be a little brazen at times. But question, no one can question my integrity for standing up for the people. And in that moment, I was just thinking about the suffering of people, the lack of health care, and, and especially in a pandemic where we know we absolutely need to have universal health care in this country. You know, folks don't, not having clean water it was those kinds of things that were swirling in my head and my mind at the time. But that does not mean disagreement does not mean you can't work with someone. I want to give a very real example of the, the vice president elect. We all may right. recall that during a debate, she really called out Vice President Biden's record, uh, particularly saying I was that girl. And she, but now she is the vice president elect. So that's just one example of how you can have fierce disagreement with somebody. You can go hard with somebody or ham as the young people say, and still be able to work with people. And I have a proven record of doing that. Tiffany, I declare today that I am willing and can, will and can work with anybody that is willing to stand up for the least of these, the poor, the working poor and the barely middle class in this country. That answer was splendid. Splendid. I just morphed into a British man from 1958. <laughs> that answer was superb. It was wonderful. It was glorious. She handled that very, very, very well. So, listen, the attempt there was a gotcha question. But she was able to do some Nina Turner jujitsu and sort of flip it right back on everybody else. So, th I mean, this is some... If we're all being honest here, and that's what we do on this show... Yes, anybody who voted for Joe would admit, if they're honest, and if they have similar ideology, that he, it's a lesser evil. He's a lesser evil. That's why many people, young lefties, sucked it up and voted for him. Um, and if you go through the record, I don't. this isn't controversial. Voted for the Iraq War, voted for the Patriot Act, voted for the Crime Bill, helped write it, in fact, supported NAFTA, Supported the bankruptcy bill, which made it so that you can't file for bankruptcy on student loans. The list goes on and on. He has a lot of horrendous votes. He's a corporatist. That's what he is. So, yeah, there are going to be people who voted for Joe and they say, basically, the only reason I did that is because I think Trump is worse and we can't afford another four years of Trump. Um, and that's an honest answer. And it's like, what more do people want? What more do you want? Do you want young lefties and lefties in general to be like, yeah, I voted for Joe and like pretend to be excited about it. Now you have to like attitude police them. It's just, it's so tedious and it's so silly. And Nina's point was like, yeah, you know what I was thinking of at the time? Like all the people who are hurting who are not going to be helped by Joe and all the people who Joe hurt. So that's, that's what her answer was and she's right. And then she does a masterful thing, which is, she says, hey, look at what Kamala said to Joe during the debate. Kamala basically was like, you worked with segregationists, and uh, that's pretty bigoted. And that's not okay. Which, fair point. That was a fair point from Kamala Harris, for sure. But then, yeah, she was picked for VP, and now all of a sudden, it's she's never going to bring up those concerns again. Now it's Joe's wonderful and Joe's awesome because he picked me to be VP. It's no more like, no, I meant the thing I said when I said... You work with segregationists and that's bigoted and unacceptable. So Nina's like, yeah, she said things and then now she's working with Joe. So why can't I say things and work with Joe? But that gets to the most important point, which is, and this is why we trust Nina Turner, why we love Nina Turner, is that she's not going to work with anybody unless it's on her terms, on her terms. So, you know, if it's just to give an example, $15 minimum wage. Nina Turner's for that. Joe says he's for that. Let's see, right? I hope he is. On that, she would work with him. On anything that makes sense, Nina Turner might, you know, say, hey, here's a list of people who are unfairly imprisoned because of our racist criminal drug war. Mr. President, can you please take a look at this and hopefully pardon or commute some of their sentences? That's something Nina Turner would work with Joe on, right? Like, she's going to work with anybody if 
the person is trying to do the right thing on a given issue. I wouldn't put it past, I mean, obviously, if Nina wins, she's in Congress and Hawley's in the Senate, but I was going to say, I wouldn't put it past she would work with somebody like Hawley, uh, just like Bernie just tried to do with the $1,200 checks. If she thinks it's substantively correct, she will work with people. If it's not, she will fight them. And so what we saw was, throughout the primary, Joe was perpetually wrong about a lot of stuff and taking a more corporatist position and a right-wing position, and she was willing to call it out and say, you know what, I don't like that, that's not good. So she's principled, and she's a fighter. That's the thing I'm most excited about for Nina, because, look, all the Justice Democrats are with me 98, 99% of the time on the actual policies. But not only do you need to be right on the policies, you need to have the right theory of change and strategy. And I think Nina Turner has a theory of change and a strategy that's more similar to mine, which is like, I don't care if the media hates me, I don't care if Pelosi hates me, my most powerful weapon is my voice, and I'm going to use it. And that's not the theory of change that the other Justice Democrats have. So, anyway... We'll see what happens here with Nina Turner, uh, but this is a wonderful answer. I think she's really politically talented, and I think she's politically talented without even having to try. It's just instinct. She knows where to go with this stuff, right? So, um, can't wait to see more of, of Nina Turner. And, by the way, I'm going to leave the fundraising link for Nina Turner in the video description box below. I don't often recommend people donate to politicians anymore, but... I'm donating to Nina without a doubt, for sure. She earned it. She deserves it. I trust her. She's a fighter. She agrees with me on the issues. I'm team Nina all day. So if you want to donate to Nina Turner, whatever it is, five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, you want to go nuts some more than that. She, I'm sure she only takes money from regular people. So link below.